Okay, now let's take an example. It isn't going to be the most complicated one, but let's do it. All right, and now I'm going to put you behind the scenes, and you're going to be the professor. It's how good tests are made up. So I start with something which is definitely an interval graph, because I don't make it an interval graph. <coughs> A, B, C, D, E, F. That's the interval graph. Let's draw it. A to B, yes. A to C, no. A to D, no. A to E, yes. A to F, no. B to C, B to D, B to E, B to F, C to D, no. C to E, Yes, C to F. I got a problem? Yeah. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keeps me straight. This is, this doc cam is tricky business, huh? All right. C to F, uh, D to F, D to E, yes, D to F, and E to F. All right, now, look at my picture. For this set of intervals, is that the graph? Is that the intersection graph of the family of intervals? It's a graph. There's no, no, no order here at all. Yes? Okay, now we turn it into a, a question. Is that graph an interval graph? I already know the answer, but pretend I don't. Is that graph an interval graph? Let's determine it using the information that we know. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear off this page I'm going to fold over that answer. I'm going to fold this over. So this question walks in the door. And we don't know the answer. Is that graph an interval graph? Yes or no? How do we do this? Step one, take the complement. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right, question? Is it important that we're told what kind of graph it is? No, 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 it's a graph. graph? It's just a graph, it's a data file. 1,000 vertices, 8,000 edges, big data file. And you're just ask, is it an interval graph? And if no, you have to explain why. And if yes, you have to provide a representation. All right, so uh, this is a little one, but, I, but the principle, the principle, 1,000 vertices, you'll do it just as well. All right, now let's take the complement. Is there an edge from A to B? Yeah. A to C? A to D, A to E, A to F. All right. I'm going to try to do this 
and please don't let me make a mistake. Did I do it right? Okay. Now, does everybody know what I just did? All I did was take the compliment. That's all I did. All right. Now, let's test this graph to see if it's a comparability graph. That's the question, does it admit a transitive orientation? How did we do that? Pick any edge and put a direction on it. Well, my finger came down closest to that one. Up or down? Up, she says. All right, that direction is up. Now, apply the V rule or the P3 rule repeatedly. What does that force? I claim it forces a direction on this edge, the edge AF. Does everybody see that? Which way, up or down? Up, up, up. They point in or out together. OK, that one in turn forces a direction on the edge BF. Which way? Left to right or right to left? Right. Left to right. Everybody see? This edge doesn't force that. This one forces that one, and this one forces that. Okay? All right, any more forces? Uh, the original one, AD, also forces something on BD. Which way? Up. And BD forces DC, right? This one forces this one, right? No, no, no. That's not, a, that's not a V, because that edge is present. But this one forces something there. What is this force? Up from C to B. Now, this one forces that one. Which way? Up. OK. Now, is there any edge which is not forced? Is there, what about this edge? Does anybody force this guy? No. AD doesn't force it. OK. Now. Is that edge forced by transitivity? This one. Is this a free choice? And now it, this one is free. What is your favorite? D under C or C under D? Take your choice. Somebody says, oh, I want it to go this way. This choice was completely arbitrary. And now we have a transitive orientation of this graph. Is the original graph an interval graph? Yes or no? Uh, a really good answer. It could be. It might be. We don't know. It passed the first test. It's got to pass two tests. All right, now. That's a transitive orientation. A transitive orientation determines a poset. Let's draw the order diagram of the poset that's associated with that transitive orientation. So you've got to have C less than D less than A, C less than A, F less than B, F less than A. That's a let's draw that. 
You draw it. Take your notes and draw that bow set. Are you with me? Look at the picture I've drawn on the left. You see that that picture comes from the orientation on the right? Uh, you, many ways to draw that. You, you know, flip over here, flip over there, but you are going to have C less than D less than A, C less than D less than B, like that. All right, now what do we do next? We test this to see if it's an interval order. Let's do that. I got to do down from A, down from B, down from C, down from D, down from E. I lost. Oh, E is sitting over here all by its little lonesome. Don't. E's not connected with anybody. Down from F. Okay, let's quickly do it. Down from A, A uh, C, D, F. Down from B, C, D, F. Down from C, empty. Down from D, C. Down from E, empty. Down from F, empty. Pick up any two sets are they comparable? Yes? All right, now, back out to the original question. Is the graph an interval graph? Yes. I know the answer. Yes. Now, I, the boss is not going to be happy with just a yes, no answer. If the answer is yes, you want the interval representation. So now we know the answer. We keep doing the work, and you have to do this work. Let's do up from A, up from B, up from C, up from D, up from E, up from F. Up from A is empty. Up from B is empty. Up from C is ABD. Up from D is AB. Up from E is empty, up from F is AB. All right, how many different downsets are there? How many different downsets? I see empty, singleton C, and the triple CDF. There's only three. So label them from little to big. One, 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 two, three, three. Label the upsets backwards from big to little. One, two, two, three, three, three. And now there's your intervals. So I take my number line a very simple number line, one, two, and three. And I put my intervals in there. The interval for A is three, three. The interval for B is three, three. Wait a minute, they got the same interval. That's okay. Two committees can want the same schedule. Interval for C is one, one. 
Interval for D, 2, 2. Interval for E, 1, 3. Interval for F, 1, 2. Now that's not the picture I started with, but it gives the same information. <laughs>